Welcome, Gun Runner. Hey everybody, Kieran aka The Laird here, and I'm back with part two of my look at CDI magazine. So as before, um, I'm going to look at three more issues, and um, those of you who watched the first video, if you haven't, I'll link it down below in the description. But I looked at issue two, three, and four of CDI magazine, so three of the earliest issues, um, I don't have issue one annoyingly, but now we're going to skip forward in time quite a bit. Because from issue four, the next one I have is actually 11. And then I go consecutive again. So I've got two, three, and four. And then I've got 11, 12, and, 13, and 14. Not 13, 14, which is quite strange. Well, I've got a big gap in the middle. Um, but there we go. But I have. This is issue 11. So this one, actually, unlike the other issues, the, the other issues don't say the date of, um, of public, publication on them um, at all, whereas these ones do. So it's a slightly different look to these later ones. This tells us it was April 1995. So it's fairly late in the CDI's life, I suppose, but it's obviously still going. Um, and obviously still enough people around using the CDI that they, that they can still sustain a magazine for it, um, which is quite interesting in itself. But um, it's NFL special. So reviewing three great CDI American football discs. I've got that set, a set of three. There is some separately, I think, as well. But I've got a set of three. I've got Star Trek in there. I've got some Star Trek movies for mine. Micro Machines got that, Merlin's Print has got that, Kingdom of Forage has got that, we'll have a look in a minute. And an, and an interview with two Unlimited, I'm not sure why, but um, there is uh, Advert for Chaos Control, uh, which I think I said in the previous video actually is one of my favourite CDI games. So uh, this one is in really good condition actually inside, really good. Uh, so Stores running a Chaos Control competition. I don't think there's any near me. Um, Bedford would have been the nearest, or London. Um, Okie dokes. Forthcoming releases and news. And there's games. So Top Store's back CDI. Um, I, I said in a previous video, actually, my first memory of CDI was seeing it being demoed in Dixon's with Palm Springs Golf and being blown away by it. Um, but it wouldn't let me play it because they were, they were a bit snobby and thought that it wasn't a kid's machine. But the first time I did get to play on a CDI was when I started working at game because we had a CDI counter display and um, we used to just turn the monitor around a bit so we could see it from behind the till and stand there playing if playing it if it was really quiet. Um, so I played lots of CDI games and that's actually where all my nostalgia for CDI came from which led me to buying one um, when I started collecting. I really wanted one because I had so much nostalgia of those days working at game and playing CDI every day. So there's the NFL Hall of Fame NFL Trivia Challenge so 90, we gave that 87, and then there's the greatest touchdowns uh, disc as well. So you don't actually get to play American football properly on those. Um, I suppose the nearest is the quiz thing. But there we go. Uh, micro machines, I'm not sure about why the pictures of the Toyota Celica looks like the one from Sega Rally, because that's obviously not a micro machine. Um, but they seem to have used them across all the pages there, which is quite strange. Um, my stand has slipped a bit, which is annoying. Um, but there we go. Put micro machines on CDI, good game. Uh, review is that just a preview then of, of micro machines? Yeah, preview. Okay. Uh, Merlin's Apprentice, which is quite an interesting game actually. Uh, they gave it 90. Uh, Kingdom of the Far Reaches, um, conversion of the arcade game. I believe it was an arcade game. Is it Thyre's Quest or something that's known as in the arcades, I think. Um, and that ended up being a CDI. And uh, yeah, it's, it's okay as, as, as full motion video games go, I suppose. Uh, Turn Limited. So talking to them. About music on CDI, I suppose. So there's a, a CDI disc then called Turn Limited Beyond Limits. Um, I have to say, I don't have that. So that's obviously why they put them in there. So there we go, you can get it at our price at Virgin Mega Stores. Remember them, and neither exist anymore. I used to shop at our price a lot. I had one in Auburn's Marketplace. I used to go there all the time. Uh, more CDI adverts, there's the Star Trek. So I've got Star Trek Motion Picture, I've got Wrath of Khan. 
Corners and funeral, ch 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 bang bang, don't have those. Charlie, Jimmy Blacksmith. I oh, says so some some of those. That's head crash. That's what I was talking about in the last issue, uh, last video even. And Peter Gabriel Explorer. They're, they're both quite cool actually. To fiddle around with, burn cyclical advert. Uh, Thumbelina. Um, I have to say, I've not seen that. Was that even released then? Um, I haven't seen that before. Advert for CDI, lots of the discs that came out there. Uh, Sticky Bear Preschool, I've actually got that. <laughs> um, I had a friend, um, who, when their child was very young, they used to come around and we used to stick them in front of the CDI because I had loads of stuff like that and they used to really enjoy playing it. So there we go. Look here, so you've got this. Uh, joins astronomer Patrick Moore. That's to Tom Baker on the tour of the solar system. Oh, that's quite cool, though. The solar system disc is pretty cool. Wines of France, Concise Oxford Dictionary. Don't have any of those, actually. Bone Cycle Player's Guide. Little Devil Player's Guide. Uh, letters. Hotel Mario. And there's a catalogue, like we had all the other ones. It seems to be considerably bigger now because there's a lot more discs. Not really, though. Yeah. And over for that, um, the... the kind of Rudy Doody discs that were available for the CGI. There's a few of them. And there's the bestseller list. They've got everything there though. They've got games, kids, movies, music. I was surprised to see Mad Dog McCree um, at the top there. I remember when I was working at the game. We didn't sell a lot of CDI stuff, but I do remember selling quite a few of Mad Dog McCree. I suppose it had a lot of name recognition at the time with it being in the arcades. There we go. Right, issue 12. So, Who Shot Johnny Rock on the cover? I much prefer Who Shot Johnny Rock to Mad Dog McCree. It's a better game and it's it's a bit more interactive. I actually much prefer it. This had a cover disc. Uh, I'm not sure what it was, this issue. Uh, Dragon's Eye 2, Thunder in Paradise, Lost Eden Kingdom. So, lots of stuff in here to look at. Let me go through it. E3 debut for new games. Uh, looks like Rise of the Robot is one of those. Um, not so good. I uh, didn't preview this. Is Terminator coming to video CD with the Oz? Forrest Gump. I think I've got Forrest Gump actually. I think I'm pretty sure I've got Forrest Gump. Uh, Beastie Boys Sabotage. That's cool. I don't have that though. I do you like the Beastie Boys? Who shot Johnny Rock? Which I think is great. I said I really enjoy playing that actually. Is that just a preview though? Yes, yeah, just a preview. And Lost Eden preview. I'm pretty sure I've got that. I'm being a bit weird. And there's Kingdom of the Far Reaches, which is in the last issue as well. I think it's a preview in the last issue. They gave it 86. Thunder in Paradise, they gave it 79. Um, the cheesy FMV with Hulk Hogan is quite entertaining, I suppose, but the game itself is quite poor, I think. Even if you can use the light gun, which you obviously. It's always a bonus, there's not that many games that use the light gun. So Cry Interactive's Dinosaur Epic Lost Eden has just shipped on PC and will be out in autumn on CDI. Star Trek 3 Search for Spock. Voyage Home, I said about that. Yeah, I have got that one. I know I've got Voyage Home. Other movies, Naked Gun 33 and a third, I've got that. Don't have the others there though. Back issues, burn cycle, more video CD stuff, uh, music in this case, don't have any of those. Uh, don't have making love, no, more 18 stuff. There's the adult section again. And loving for a lifetime, the pleasure of sex, don't have any of those ones, no. Don't have any um, of the um, 18 sort of content adult discs actually, at all. Uh, kids stuff. Asterix. I wish I had Asterix actually. I loved Asterix when I was a kid. I don't have that one. I'm going to have to try and hunt that down. Just the last Jeez and Worcester. I remember my, my parents absolutely loving Jeez and Worcester. Uh, the New Statesman. I loved the New Statesman. It was very, very funny. Very funny indeed. Jethro. Leslie Nielsen's Bad Golf Made Easy. Uh, Chubby Brown. Don't have any of those ones. Drones there. Two Players Guide. Burn Cycle Players Guide. There's a second part actually. Last issue, there's all our uh, letters and the usual catalogue um, that's at the back. 
and what was top of the chart this time chaos controls palm springs open god given that was quite old by this point um it's funny to see that there lemmings magnum creek cluedo striker pro van cycle says as well the gambling voyeur and the apprentice mm, okie dokie so let's go last of all cover disc special so there we go lost eden again i'm um, going big time on that and they've got a a demo disc of micro machines which is quite cool what else we've got here rise to robots that'll be interesting we go for champions league unfortunately not a football game uh, it's just kind of an interactive disc a bit like the american football ones um monty python i have the monty python the disc if it's the one I'm thinking of and it's brilliant uh i suppose you could call it a game but it's more of an interactive experience so internet on cdi um, they did bring um, a web browser to CDI, if you didn't know. Disc Rivals, so talking about other people launching their their own um, devices and stuff. Stuff coming. There we go. Monty Python's Invasion from the Planet Skyron. So there's a kind of mix of um, little games, uh, interactive content, um, animations all sorts of weird stuff in typical monty python style uh terry gilliam uh produced it all uh they gave it 85 um i'll probably give it a little bit higher because it's brilliant lost eden which they gave 89 yeah who shot johnny rock they gave it 82 so they didn't like it as much as mad dog mccree i think it's much better rise to robert 65 that's a bit generous isn't it it's bloody awful how they could give it 65 i don't know Weirdly though, they gave graphics 68 because the graphics are magnificent. Um, it just plays like dog poo, it's just awful. A Labyrinth of Crete, I have that one. Um, kind of mix of mini games if I remember rightly, 87. Says the way for Champions League disc, which I have. Uh, yeah, quiz game, yeah. Silicon Soldiers. So, development of Rise of the Robots there. Can you explain how it's so terrible? Uh, interviews with more developers there. Who worked on it? A lot of people worked on Rise of the Robots. A lot of people. Uh, Forrest Gump, which I have clear and present danger. I'm pretty sure I have that as well. Any hall, I don't know. Though. Film section, Octopussy Living That Died. I don't have any bonds at all. The person who owned mine originally must have hated Bond. So I don't have any bonds. I don't have Roadhouse either, sadly. Or Rocky. I'm a massive Rocky fan, so it's a shame if I don't have any Rocky ones. Uh, some wildlife documentaries. I don't have, any, don't have anything like that. Games Master Gore Special. I didn't know they released that on video CD. That's quite cool to know. Um, that was brilliant, because I could see Ninja on the Jaguar on it. It was one of the games they featured, an early version of that. Cranberries. Cliff Richard, Oasis, I haven't got those, or Pet Shop Boys, I haven't got any of those ones. Uh, very cool looking Philips Hi-Fi. I had a built-in CDI player, how neat is that? Really good. All the usual kids stuff, Peanuts, Little Mermaid, there's our Dragon Slayer 2 Players Guide. More adverts, letters. All of that business. Lots and lots of adverts. So what's top chaos control again? Um, it's a pretty similar chart to the last issue, actually. Oh my god, look at the cheesy advert for Thunder in Paradise on the back. My god, um, doesn't get any cheesier than that, really, does it? Um, but yeah, that's it. That's um, the other three issues that I've got. Um, we've got through those um, fairly quickly, haven't we, really? Um, but that's it. That's all six issues that I have. Of, um, of CDI magazine. Um, quite a nice thing to have in my collection actually. Um, quite unusual. Um, and um, I found some interesting things uh, flicking through them. Um, I know that I have a couple of other people who uh, follow my channel who are CDI fans as well so hopefully they're probably the only people who are going to like this video. But there we go. Um, I think the CDI is underrated as I said before. And I think it uh, deserves a bit more love than it gets. I think people hate on it far too much. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and the one that came before it. I've been the Laird. As always, I thank you for watching. And I'll see you all again for another video very soon. Bye-bye.